Hello and a very good day. good afternoon to to my lecturer Dr. Maria Minti Mohd Isa and my fellow student. My name is Muhammad Fazil Demin Kamaludik. My, my metric number is 191852. Today, I would like to present a video regarding my digital, my digital project, which is the uh, vending machine. So, what is a vending machine? Vending machine is an automated machine that allow a user to use uh, its money credit card or its own special card to buy a product moving on to the introduction so what is my project will be my my vision is to construct a vending machine that accept 10 20 and 50 cent as it's on the input while the output or the product can be obtained when 60 or more than or more than 60 cent is inserted inside the machine so, so before I move on how before I move on to the vending machine I would like to tell you how I design this vending machine firstly I will make a state diagram of the vending machine moving on to the state as table state assigned table and simplify the simplify it using the K map from the K from the K uh, from the simplification I can get the circuit from there I can make it the coding now I move on to the state diagram. For the state diagram, we can see there are five major state, which is a, a six major state here: 0, 0 cent, ten cent, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, and sixty cent. This is considered major because uh, at the sixty cent, we have this output, while at 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, and fifty, we can set insert an input, which is a uh, 10 cent, 20 cent, and 50 cent, and also a zero cent, which means that it will stay at its current state. At the zero state, whenever when 10 cent is inserted, it will move to the 10 cent state. If 20 cent, it will move to the 20 cent state, while 50 cent, it will move to its 50 cent state. Then move on to 10 cent state. At the 10 cent state, we can insert another 10 cent, which will move to the 20 cent. 20 cent then 20 cent it will move to the 30 cent state 50 cent and the 50 cent uh, and when the 50 cent it will move to the 70 cent state while moving on to the second state which is the 20 cent state 10 cent is it will move to the 30 cent state 20 cent it will move to the 40 cent state and 50 cent it will move to the 70 cent state which is more than 60 which will also produce the output next I will move moving on to the next after uh, the 30 cent, 30 cent state which where 10 cent is inserted it will move to the 40 cent state the 20 cent state inserted it will move to the 50 cent state while when 50 cent inserted it will move to the 80 cent state then i will move to the 40 cent state at the 40 cent state when 10 cent is inserted it will move to the 50 cent state and 20 cent it will move to the 20 cent, 60 cent and lastly at the 50 cent it can go inserted it will move to the 90 cent state lastly we have the 50 cent state at the 50 cent state we have three also three input which is 10 cent 20 and 50 at the 10 cent we will move to the 60 cent uh, at 20 cent it will move to the 70 cent and lastly at 50 cent it will go to the 1 ringgit or 100 cent from the state diagram we can also obtain the state table at the state table uh, we can see the present state which is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. The 60 state is not, uh, it is not considered as the present state as it, it, uh, uh, as it represents the output. The next state we have 4 uh, input which that affect the next state which is 0 cent uh, where it will stay at its current state 10 cent, 20 and 50 cent. There are also the output. There are four output which is no out no when no input. What happened to the output? When 10 cent is inserted, what happened to the output? 20 cent and lastly the 50 cent. As you can see, uh, at the uh, Z0, uh, when no input is inserted, uh, it will stay at its current state, no matter what state it is. At the 10 cent state, when 10 uh, at the at the 50 cent at the 50 cent state it will move to the 60 cent state where it will produce an output which is the product moving on to the second which is uh, when 20 cent is inserted 
we can see that only at the 4 and 5th at the 40 and 50 state we can see that it will produce an output as the as the next state will become the 60 and 70 lastly we have the 50 state input where it will on all produce output except for the when there are no other input inside it where it will become a state at 50 state if there are no further input inside it. Moving on from the state table, we can uh, obtain a state assigned table. The state assigned table is used uh, to make it easier to simplify and produce the circuit. More for this state assigned table, the input is we have uh, zero input is uh, zero, zero six zero zero ten cent one zero one twenty cent one zero and fifty cent one one. This is uh, can be seen later at the K map. The output we have four output also same. For this we can see that more when the out uh, it reach the sixty cent or above it will be presented as don't care because it won't affect the next state, the current state. From this, we can obtain the K-map. Okay, moving on to the card K-map. For this K-map, we have three major blocks, which is the Q, W, and E. This is considering the input, uh, Q input, W input, and E input, which is the 10, 20, and 50 cent. Okay, for this E, we can see that uh, the input is represented by uh, I1 and I2 which for the 00, 01, 10 and 11 which is 0 sin, 10 sin, 20 and 50 sin. And the donkey is for the next state which will produce the output for the 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100 sin. Which is uh, considered okay because it also become the next state. For this we can see that uh, after simplifying the k-map for the q block we can get the w i1 plus q bar w e i2 plus i1 i2 plus w for the second block which is the w block we can obtain the w i1 bar i2 bar plus i2 plus q bar w bar e i2 plus q bar w bar i1 and i2 Lastly, we have the third block, which is the E block. We can obtain the Q bar, E, I2, plus I2, plus Q, plus E. For the output, we have four output. However, due to the Z0, do not have all the output is become zero. We only take Z1, Z2, Z, and Z3 as it, as it product output segment. For the Z1, we have the Q, W bar, and E. Z2, we have Q, W bar, E bar, plus Q, W bar, E. Lastly, we have the Z3, for, we can obtain Q bar, W bar, and E, plus Q bar, W, E bar, plus Q bar, W, E, plus Q, W bar, E, plus Q, W bar, E. From this game map, we can obtain the circuit, which can, uh, can be seen. Moving on from the circuit, we, uh, I will show how the very log HDL coding that I use to uh, to code the hardware, which is the model C Altera. Firstly, uh, there are a few variables which I use, which is the Q, W, and E for the input, the clock, the reset, and the output, which is the Y or N. Okay. For the parameter, there are a few statements used, which is the parameter. Parameter is used to, to assign uh, a certain bit variable with their value. For example, for the state 0, I assign with, with the 4 bit 0, 0, 0, 0. While uh, the fifth state, we have the 4 bit 0, 1, 1, 0. Which is, uh, can be seen, the comment shows that it represented the 50 cent. Moving on to the coding, I'll use the case statement so that whenever it's while it's inside the case statement, it will still use the code, uh, rule inside it. For example, for the state 0, if Q equal to 1, bit 1, which is then Q 
Q is high, which is a insert in ten cent is inserted inside the inside the machine. What will happen? This you can show that it will begin the coding where the next step will become will move from the state zero to state one. However, you can see that y equal to one bit zero means that there are still no output as the output is available when it reach state six. Else if then moving on to the second part of the uh, for the state for the case of state zero, we can see that if W equal to one bit one, which means that when twenty cent is inserted, it will move to the second state. While the else last case we have the E equal to one bit one, where when and uh when fifty cent is inserted, it will move straight to the fifth state. Then we have what if happen to when there are no input? If there are no input, it will stay at the state zero. State zero as it won't be affected. Okay, at the end we can see that there are also a few rules. Lastly, where we use that at always at when there are positive clock, as long as the clock is positive, state H, it will begin a new state rule if the reset is high when whatever state it is, no matter state zero, state one, two, three, or five, it will reset itself to state zero. If the if the reset is low, it will stay at its current state, which won't be it won't be affected by the reset. Next, from this from the coding, we can see that the RTL viewer will produce this circuit, this circuit, where we have three multiplexer, which represented uh, will block the the input, which represented the three. Block we use that Q, W, and E. And e. Okay. After again uh, obtaining the RTL viewer, we can gain. Uh, we can test the coding by using a test bench. What is a test bench? Test bench is a coding used to simulate a, to simulate the coding without its hardware. Have the hardware, we do not. We did not need to use the test bench. For the test bench, I use a uh, manually inserted value to the to the is to the input so that it will affect the output. For this, we can see that the input when the input uh, firstly we have the twenty cent inserted, the ten cent will become thirty cent. Another 20 cent will become 50 cent and last we have another 20 cent inserted at the machine. This will, after that, it become the 70 cent. When it's 70 cent, the output will become high which means that we can buy this, the item to display. If we want to uh, show another, we can change the, the, va the value at certain point of the, of the clock. When it, whenever the clock is high, which means that it will produce, it will affect the input. Manually change, we can become a different combination. Okay. Then I will show the high. Lastly, one to the In conclusion, I am able to design a vending machine by using Vela coding and simulate using Vela Modesim Altera. That's all for me. Thank you.